Hey Team UQRC, this is Coach Wes, and it's been a while since I've done one of these video messages for you guys. And uh, we're finally back, and our video message is going to talk a little bit about what this coming fall has in store for us. And it's been a while since we've really gotten together formally for multiple days throughout the week to really take off and train for a certain race. And we're going to be ready to get back to that as we finish up the summer schedule coming up. So I want to talk a little bit about what the fall's got in schedule or in store, because a lot of you guys have really been asking. So the plan is this. We're going to start our fall season the week of July 29th. July 29th is a Monday, and our program will always start on a Monday and carry through to Sunday. Uh, the fall season this year, we're going to train for two races, and you guys get to pick which one you're going to do. It's the San Francisco Nike Women's Half Marathon, which is on October 20th, and then the Long Beach Half Marathon, which is one week before on October 13th. So the plan is to start right towards the beginning of August with our first Saturday run being August 3rd and that way we'll have about 12 to 13 weeks ready to get ready for those races. Now something that I want to do that's a little unique going into the fall season is I really want to try and grasp on and bring as many new people onto our team and really grow our community as much as we can because I truly believe that we are a team that's built for the first time runner, the people that might be a little anxious, haven't done it for a while, are really starting to train for the first time. So to do that, we're going to actually have the first week be what we call convert week. And what I mean by convert week is I really want to try and take people that might have been doing tread and tread in the past or maybe participated in the summer streak, um, and have heard of our team but have maybe have been a little nervous, a little anxious, or just hasn't fit in with their schedule before, and really use it as a time to convert them to run club members. So that first week, I am going to ask that we kind of open it up more to our first-time people. We'll have um, one night set aside for just kind of a questions, coach, coaches question and answer session where um, I can explain anything in further detail. And then the workouts that first week are really going to be designed for people that are new to our program to really talk about speeds and paces and how to get into certain um, pace groups, which we will be implementing this fall. Uh, with the addition of some pacing guides, and which are some of our veteran runners. Um, so that's really what we're looking for in that, the beginning of our program. So while it, the program does begin July 29th, and you'll be getting emails and videos leading up to that, and then especially from that point going forward for the next 12 to 13 weeks, uh, I really want that first week to focus on the people that are pretty new to the program. What that means is that really the first Saturday that our entire team is going to be together is on August 10th. And again, that'll be a, our full structured program. We'll be getting ready for those two races in October. I can tell you right now that while the programs will be slightly different, um, the one overarching principle is that we're going to use incline this fall a good bit. And I don't say that to make you anxious. I say that more than anything else just to make you feel like you're prepared, just to get ready for it mentally. Um, I know that most people hear the word hill and they want to kind of second guess maybe their intention a little bit or what the intensity will feel like because most hills are hard but they don't have to be that way and that's what I want this fall program to be about learning how to run a hill with the right technique and the right pace more than anything else. Uh, that will obviously get us ready for San Francisco because we're going to see some hills in the Nike Women's Half Marathon but I think we'll actually have us in great shape for the Long Beach Half Marathon which is one week earlier. Long Beach itself as a course, I've run it plenty of times is really flat. There's a little bit of incline going over the bridge um, from the mainland to the island and then same thing coming back from the island to the mainland. But other than that, pretty pancake flat course. So if we train harder than the course is going to be uh, by way of using some incline during our training program, we'll actually be in a great place for the Long Beach Half Marathon. So hopefully that gives you just a little bit of vision. I'm putting the final touches on what will be our program uh, with some other further details. Um, but we do have a couple weeks of the summer left, and I really hope that you guys, if you haven't made it out yet, will really think of making it out and joining us on a Saturday morning. Tomorrow morning, which is July 13th, is the Race for Transformation 5K. It's a local 5K that a friend of mine's putting on. It starts at 8 a.m., and I'll be out at that. So we won't have a team run tomorrow morning. Uh, we will be getting back together as a team the following Saturday morning, which is the 20th of July, and we're going to do a trail run, a trail run we've never done before. Um, down by San Joaquin Hills. It should be something pretty fun. I'll get you guys the details there. And then the 27th of July, keep this on your calendar. We're going to actually do a sunset run on the back bay and then do a little barbecue at my house, which is over in East Bluff. Um, so again, lots of neat stuff coming up and hopefully that gives you some idea of what we're doing come the fall season. Um, 
really just more than anything else missing you guys and excited to get back together and have a full team. And I've been hearing that from you guys through emails and Facebook. So let's really start getting that chatter going a little bit more and get us everybody pumped up and ready for the fall season. Until I get to see you guys next week, if I don't see you tomorrow morning, have a good rest of your week, and I'll look forward to seeing you for a trail run next week. Have a good rest of your night.